Oh, it's Monday. And today, we're talking about a movie that's not so bad. But maybe not so great? I don't know. Let's find out. As we talk about a Christmas story Christmas. That's right, don't go anywhere. Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey, uh, Squeaky. You know what? Let me tell you. She's got some really nice, uh, you know, bowling fingers. You know what I'm saying? That's right. <laughs> Welcome. The weekend is over. Did you have a great time? I know I did. And now, unfortunately, the week is back. I thought we'd gotten rid of it, but it was just the weekend. So, it's Monday. I hope y'all are doing great. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. In the description down below are some things we love and enjoy here. Nobody pays us. It's just great stuff like, I don't know, coffee? So check it out. <clears throat> All right. So, Friday, I'm sure you were all here, we talked about a Christmas story. That's why I'm wearing the Christmas story shirt again that makes my nipples and boobs look so big. Say the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> oh, 10 hundred, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we talked about a Christmas story. And recently, I heard that HBO Max, among others, I guess, decided to do a sequel. And I got to say, I was not excited about this. However, I was willing to give it a shot because Peter Billingsley and almost the entire cast of the original movie we're on board to do the sequel. <clears throat> Let's look at it. A Christmas Story Christmas 2022 PG hour and 38 minutes. All right, it follows the now adult Ralphie as he returns to the house on Cleveland Street to give his kids a magical Christmas like the one he had as a child. Reconnecting with childhood friends and reconciling the passive the passing of his old man. Now, that's not exactly fair because at the beginning of this movie his old man is alive now unfortunately the actor the brilliant actor that played his father in the original movies has has passed away a long time passed away and the person that played his mother in the original has retired long ago from acting and does not act anymore so they had to replace her with a different actress so at the beginning of this movie where Ralphie's an adult, <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, it's the 70s. So, 30 years removed from the first movie. And Ralphie's old man dies at Christmas time. So, he takes his family, they go back to his childhood home to have Christmas with his mother, dealing also with the passing of his father. Uh, this is also based on writings from Gene Shepard. And Peter Billingsley. He's done a great job, in my opinion, of holding on to the original property ideas behind this. this. I thought I was going to dislike this movie. I was set to dislike it. But I got to tell you, it's not great. But it honors the original characters and the fact that they brought all the original actors back who were children, who are now adults, in this movie. And the entire movie is about honoring his family and his father, Old Man Parker. And they do a brilliant job of that. Is it perfect? No. The actress they got to play the mom, Ralphie's mom, I'm sorry. I'm not saying she's a bad actress, but she 
did not understand the role she was undertaking. She is nothing like the character from the first movie. It's like a completely different woman. It, it is literally complete, but I mean, she's playing a character from the first movie and she does not play it at all like the mom in the first movie. So that right there irritated me while watching this, but for the most part, everything else is pretty spot on and they do show respect to the father. It's not a story about a bad father. It's a story about a family coming together and honoring Christmas and a good father. Was the father perfect? No. But he was, he was the old man Parker. He was the father and they loved him. There are bits of it that, you know, I saw it coming. Some of it's a little, eh. But overall, I was super happy with this movie. Because it honored the original movie. They didn't change a bunch of things. They didn't put a bunch of crap in it. They didn't put a bunch of messages in it. It was just a continuing story of the first. 30 years later. And it's brilliant. If you enjoy a Christmas story, this movie is enjoyable. Will I watch this every Christmas? No. Will I buy this? Yes. Because they respected the characters. And that's all we look for. We look for entertainment. We look for appreciation of the characters that we love so much. Don't change them. Don't swap them. Don't mess with them. Just write a story that takes them further on in their journey that we can enjoy and appreciate. Simple. So I have to applaud HBO Max for not screwing this up. <sighs> Ooh. And it was fun to watch. It's not as great as the original. But no sequels are, with the exception of a couple. So there you have it. I've got Monday out of the way. And tomorrow, you don't know this and you won't hear about this. Like, well, I'm going to tell you. Tomorrow, I'm going to see Avatar, the, the new one. But I won't have a review up until January. I'm not messing up my Christmas with Avatar. <laughs> but I'm interested. I'm interested to see uh, what they're doing. All right, I've heard it's not horrible. We'll see. Three hour and ten minute movie? I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, and I was excited. I've got I've got something I'm going to review in January. I, I was, I was going to show it to you, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Uh, eh, sorry. If you like if you like a Christmas story, you're going to like this. Are you going to love this? No, but it's sweet. It's a love letter to the original movie. That there you go. It's a love letter to the original movie. There you have it. I got to get out of here. Got stuff to do. It's Monday. Got work to do. Right. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. We love you all. Appreciate you. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen this. If you have seen it, what do you think? I want to know what you think. From Michael the Microphone, Bob Squeaky Chair, and this fat Christmas loving nerd. <laughs> we'll see you on Wednesday.